as you guys know, I have a Cricut machine. I actually have two Cricut machines. I have a Cricut Explorer 2 and I have a Maker 2. Now since then they have made a Maker 3 and I think they've made an Explorer 3 but I'm not sure. The only thing is they can just do a little bit more but I know a lot of you guys are interested in getting one or you have one but a lot of people just don't know where to start. Now if I knew this, if I did my research way back when I got my machine, I would have probably saved myself a lot of money. So I bought my machine. I think I got it on clearance at Walmart, but I didn't have any tools. I didn't have any vinyl, nothing. Well, I ended up buying some tools at Walmart. I paid full price for it. And then I started buying my vinyl at Michael's. Um, not really much Hobby Lobby, but mostly Michael's and Joanne Fabrics. I started buying the Joanne Fabrics brand, which they then discontinued because when I bought my machine, they were discontinuing it. So I'm like, oh, this is a great, great price on vinyl. I'm going to stock up on it. Um, I have made a video of um, where I get my vinyl, the best places to get your vinyl. I will link that in the video below. But do not buy vinyl from Michaels. Do not buy vinyl from Hobby Lobby. Do not buy my, do not buy vinyl at any of the big box stores you guys want to go to these local places and you want to purchase your vinyl here there i like i said i will link the video but a lot of people don't know what other things you need with your cricut machine now some of them do come with stuff and some of them don't but i'm here to share with you guys the stuff that i actually own myself and what i recommend um if you guys need to start stuff i will have all the links below for any of these items if you guys are interested um depending on when you are watching this video it is close to black friday um so a lot of these prices are a little bit cheaper right now because of black friday so um i'm going to share with you guys some deals right now. you see right here is cricut tools this is actually something that i bought when i did buy my machine at walmart i think i paid more than 22 dollars for it but the one thing i recommend a lot is this thing right here, this little uh, tool thing, or this little ruler. This is how you can cut your vinyl. Um, you just lift up the little ruler and then this little um, this little thing, it's hard for me to point to it. But that little thing right there, that black little thing, it adjusts. And then right here where there's like a little half circle, that's where you can take the ruler and expand it. So this is one thing that I absolutely recommend you guys having. If you have a different kind of version of it, that's awesome. Another thing I absolutely like is the scraper. It's not going to let me point stuff to you guys. That little thing, that little purple thing that says a scraper, that's one thing I, I use like crazy. I have a bigger one. I have a smaller one. I use those like crazy. I know the Dollar Tree had some. The Dollar Tree are not as great. They're a little bit flimsier, but I definitely recommend it. And then the tool that I recommend using is the second one, um, the one that has like a little arch hook. I used to use a straight hook all the time. But I recently started using this one, and I wish I started using this one a lot sooner. But that is something that I use like crazy, and I will show you guys that if you want to get that individually. So this is a little set. If you guys have not gotten something like this, definitely go ahead and grab that. And like I said, I will have uh, links below for you guys. Now this is something. Here, let me see if I can find. Okay, so here's the pick that I said I wanted to get. So right now it's $6.29. It's just a weeder. Like I said, I absolutely love this. I recommend having a couple of them because after a while, um, the tip of the blade kind of comes a little dull. It still works just fine, but it just kind of comes a little bit dull. So I wanted to share with you guys on that. Now this is something similar to what I have, but this is what a lot of the girls have um, that I'm in their, these Facebook groups with. Now this is like a little suction cup weeding thing. I used I use like a nail polish holder, but they stopped making those. Um, but this is basically when you are using your vinyl, you just kind of just put your vinyl in there and you just hold it. You can suction cup it. I have one that's like a ring, but I definitely recommend something like this to put your vinyl in. Otherwise, some people use like empty containers of like you know the the um, disinfectant wipes like you know Lysol and Clorox you can also use those but this is something that I truly recommend for you guys to just kind of put your vinyl in and then you just pop it right out this is perfect for both adhesive um, vinyl and then the H the heat transfer vinyl so we got that going on now this is another tool set um, I have something very similar no I have something like this I think that I got with my Cricut 3 or my maker but again I recommend totally recommend the scraper I barely ever use these scissors because they're super tiny 
But again, I got this the scraper. This thing like, kind of lifts it up, and then you got the little tool. So this is another small tool thing that you would definitely want to check out. And right now it's like 59% off, which is a great deal. Now this is something that I first bought when I got my Cricut machine is transfer paper. A lot of people um, buy the Cricut brand transfer paper. I found out that transfer paper does not work. I have a roll that I got with my machine and I have yet to use it because I just don't like it um, from what I've heard. But this is Craftopia transfer paper. Um, I've used it a lot and it's super nice and I'm a very frugal person where I cut my size out and I will use that so much with there's like there's glitter and dirt and all that stuff but as long as it still sticks I will continue using it uh, the one that I bought they it's no longer available so I just clicked off a different one but you definitely want to use this um, for other transfer paper I actually use shelf paper that I get from the Dollar Tree now the stuff in the Dollar Tree is a hit or hit or miss I've gone through like maybe five rolls in the last two years because I'm frugal I use as much I use the same piece over and over again but um, I've had two rolls where the adhesive is bad like it leaves a residue on the vinyl and I end up just putting that to the side to use it for something else that I need but I will not use it for my vinyl because I cannot stand that residue it's bad and you can't get it off so this stuff is guaranteed to work but here you get 25 feet and it is clear one thing I do like about it is if you guys can see right there it does have lines so that's how you can straighten your pictures up a little bit if you need to do that now this is a bag that I actually own for my Cricut machine um, some people like to keep it, you know, if you don't use it that often, I recommend probably putting it in a bag. It's super nice. It keeps it clean. It keeps it dust free. Um, like I said, I have this bag. I have it in the purple one. I absolutely love it. Um, it's good if you, if you want to travel. Like if you guys have like a laptop and you travel a lot with your Cricut machine, that's a great thing to do. And then it also has little pouches that you can put your tools in. Now here's something that I have bought. Um, blades. Uh, right now they're not available, but... Um, I recommend buying blades. Now they do have off-brand blades that you can get. Um, you kind of see something like right here, they have replacement bla blades. A lot of the girls say that these are wonderful blades too. I have yet to use them. I probably will try it because it's $6.99 for 20 of them. Towards right here, this is what, one blade for $8. Um, and then some machines do have to have a special kind of blade for if you're cutting different material, but if this is just your regular vinyl blade. I definitely recommend doing that. This is just kind of the pictures of different blades that you can use, but definitely get yourself replacement blades. One way to sharpen your blade is actually take aluminum foil. Um, you can take the blade thing out and you can push down. Well, you actually just kind of have it stab the aluminum foil and that's how you sharpen it just a little bit more. My husband's like, that's stupid. And I'm like, no, it's not. Well, I tried it, and it did wonders. It made my blade last a little bit longer, and I've only changed my blade once in the two years that I've had my machine. Now, this is something for when you guys have heat transfer vinyl. I wish I had this. Now, it's okay. You don't need this if you're just using one color on a shirt. You do not need that. But if you are using multiple colors and you're stacking them on top of each other, this is something that you need. Uh, that is, this is a very big transfer roll. I did cut mine down because I gave you three of them. I did cut mine down to big, uh, smaller sizes because I don't need such a big roll for like a tiny little project. So this is something that I recommend you guys get if you're interested in something like this. Um, but I use this like crazy when I'm using my heat transfer vinyl, especially when I'm doing layers um, because it prevents the vinyl from melting with your uh, heat transfer so wanted to share with you guys on that but this is something that I definitely recommend using it says you can also use um, some kind of paper I can't remember parchment paper there's not actual parchment paper there's another one but they say you can use this but I just feel safer using this Teflon paper now this is something that I used my friend asked me to make a sign one of those home signs and I wanted to get a stencil film now there's two different things that you can use you can use your vinyl that you have if you want sometimes the vinyl is a little bit cheaper but it's a little bit stickier depending on how fast you're going to take that stencil paper off so i got this this is just like um masking tape it's perfect for that so basically what i did is i cut the thing out i put the roll or i put the vinyl on my wood that i was painting i made sure i used mod podge first 
then I painted it so the um, paint doesn't bleed underneath the stencil, but this stuff worked perfectly. I've only used a little bit of it, but if you guys plan on making like signs and you need a lot of stencils, definitely recommend something like this if you guys need that. Then we have the Easy Weed. Now this is something that I needed super, super fast. And I was like, okay, I need this. Now this is a five yard. So remember, this is like 15 feet, I think is what it is. So it's $36.99. Now if you guys need something super fast and you don't wanna pay for shipping, so that's what I do is when I go to these websites and I need vinyl, I figure out what my price is for it, but then I also figure out how much it's gonna cost me in shipping just to get one little roll. So if you guys figure out your math, figure out how much the roll costs plus how much the shipping price costs, it might be cheaper going through Amazon. So as you see, they have a ton of colors. I mean, some of them are um, $29.99. This is $29.99. All the rest of them are $36.99. So this is what I use, Caesar Easy Weed. Um, HTV, this is HTV, not vinyl, but this is HTV. I think that's a pretty decent price from what I remember um, because I was using it like crazy. So that is something that I have purchased. Now this is something that I just purchased. It says I purchased it yesterday. Now I actually had one of these tools, um, like the pink and the light blue and the light pink. I had a tool like this. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I cannot find where I put it, but this is something that you guys can use to make flowers so as you guys see right here she is rolling up paper in the picture but you can actually do like those 3d blocks or 3d pictures of flowers and i'm actually gonna make a christmas themed one very soon because i have a craft show coming up in a couple weeks so i'm actually gonna make a red green and white picture one and then kind of put like a christmas sign on there so that's what i plan on making um some people attach these to the drill so it's a lot faster but you just roll them up. And then one thing I do like about this is it has this little curling coach. So you can have everything all flat. So you don't have to worry about flattening this. But this was $6.99. I'm actually super excited because I really love making those paper flowers. I actually have a video that I did make uh, with my last name making those paper flowers. And I think I also have another video of just how to make different styles of paper flowers so i might put those in the information below but this is something i definitely recommend and you want to have multiple ones um just to use now this is something that this brand right here i absolutely love i absolutely love is tech wrap vinyl now the company is based out of china but they do have a um, place in la that you can get vinyl at for a decent price. I ended up getting a mystery box from these guys. I paid a hundred bucks and I got like, I think 12 to 15 rolls and I absolutely love their vinyl. Um, so right now, uh, you can get some vinyl for eight ninety. I think right now they're, their price matching, um, their online price. Cause usually these are 1160. If I can, if I'm thinking this right, or I've, I got the color, let's just check some of them. Okay, let's find, I get the color changing vinyl. So we're gonna go to the craft adhesive. Okay, heat transfer, no. We're gonna go to the color cold changing vinyl. This is the vinyl that I use. Okay, so this is $14.90. I've gotten it a little bit cheaper from time to time, but this is basically, you can, it changes from this color to this color, this color to this color, but this is something that I use and I definitely recommend um, if you guys need color change of vinyl. Now you do pay a little bit more for it, but it's super awesome. If you guys do use this and you don't know how to cut it, do not use the regular vinyl setting cutting. I actually use the holographic sparkle vinyl option and then I do the harder press and it cuts out perfectly. So this is something I absolutely use. I love, I have like maybe six or seven of these color changing vinyl uh vinyl so basically you want to do that and then I have some of their other adhesive ones like they have some really pretty ones let's see if I can find it um I don't know if this is the one that I want but yeah this is one that I have I have this little uh leopard print I love it I absolutely love it so you definitely want to check that out and then I got one more item to share with you guys is this mat now Cricut does make their own mats okay you can do that after a while, they go bad. Um, I need to make a video to show you guys how to clean your mat, but if you don't have time to clean your mat like me sometimes, I ended up getting these mats. I bought these mats. 
They had like a lightning round or something. I bought one and then I had my husband buy me them because they were such a great price. Now here you get three packs for $12.99 and it looks like you get an extra 10% off. So it's like $1.20 that you save. But I would definitely recommend getting this. The green one is the normal one for just your everyday vinyl. They do have a purple one that's super sticky that's good for like if you're doing a little bit more heavy duty stuff. And the blue one is for a light, light stuff like washi tape. But I just use the green one. And then they have the pink one too. But I would definitely recommend getting these mats. Um, you don't have to get the Cricut brand. They want you to get the Cricut brand, but you do not have to. I use these mats like crazy. I have them right next to me, and I use them pretty much multiple times a day. And as you guys can see, 14,000 reviews, and it's almost five stars um, the Cricut ones right here, if you guys see right here, they want $21. So you can get half the price for something that works just as good. So just wanted to share with you guys stuff that I use with my Cricut machine. I will have links down below for all this stuff if you guys want to go ahead and purchase these items. But definitely get, trying to help you save your money. And I want to tell, to help you guys save even more money so you can start getting used to getting your machine. I know a lot of people, like I said, have the machine, but they're afraid to use it. They don't know where to start, and I'm here to share with you guys on that. Thanks for watching. See you guys later, and bye-bye.